channel. If it's your first time landing on one of my videos, welcome. My name is Stasia and I am following a whole food plant-based diet. So today's video, I literally just rolled out of bed aside from, you know, brushing my teeth, washing my face. But other than that, as you can see, I am fresh out of bed and I just wanted to hop on camera right now to start filming a full realistic what I eat in a day video for you guys. So every time I eat today, I'm just going to make sure that I have my camera set up and ready to go. And I'll be showing you guys what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as any snacks I might end up having. Usually I do like to have some type of snack somewhere after dinner time, not always, but if I do, I will film that as well. Now, if you're also on a health and weight loss journey and you are looking for more oil-free recipes that are whole food plant-based, then as I promise, every video that I release, my recipe weight loss ebook will be on sale for the first 10 people who purchase it. So that link will be in the description box below. Good luck. Now, even though I will be the first to say that so many of my recipes are super, super simple, you know, you don't always necessarily need a recipe. I find that recipes are great for inspiration. They're great if you're kind of stuck and you don't, you know, really know what to eat, or if you're just kind of bored with your rotation of things that you've been eating, you know, on repeat. So recipes are excellent for that. But, you know, in terms of just day-to-day -day living, you can keep it as simple as you want to. So that's why today I wanna to show you how simple it can be without even really following any recipe and just how you can whip up things right on the spot. So with that being said, I'm going to head out to the kitchen because my kids are waiting to eat. So I also have to cook for them and not just myself as well as start the homeschooling, get myself ready for the day and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get going. But I hope you guys enjoy my what I eat in a day. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to share some of your favorite meals that you eat on just a day to day basis, then be sure to leave it in the comments because I read them as well as everyone else. Oh, I, I think I hear the kids calling me. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Okay, so I am finally getting a chance to have my breakfast after I just finished up with my kids. So I am just keeping it really simple this morning. I am just having some oatmeal. I just cooked about half a cup of quick oats in some water, and then I'm just going to top it up with some fruit. Right now, I am loving cherries. So as you can see, I am just dumping some frozen cherries straight out of the bag, as well as about half of a banana slice. I find that bananas and cherries pair really nicely together. So often I'll just use my frozen fruit. So here I'm just adding a little bit of pumpkin spice on my bananas, you know, with Halloween, with the autumn, all of that good stuff. I have been loving anything cinnamon, pumpkin spice, just adds a little bit of extra flavor. So definitely nothing too fancy or special, but that's the point. It doesn't have to be. So for lunch today, I'm going with a starchy salad. I have some coleslaw mix that as a lot of you who follow me, you know that I've been using this like crazy for both salads and stir fries. So I have a bag there that you saw that needs to get used up. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna have a huge salad today. Here I've defrosted some raspberries and frozen strawberries uh, that I got from Costco. I often do that just to eat the fruit straight out of the bowl like that as a snack. But today I was really feeling for something fresh so I thought, you know what, I'm going to mix it all into a salad. So here I had just chopped up some cucumber slices. So I'm just adding that as well as a tiny bit of avocado. I haven't been eating a ton, but every so often I will, especially with a nice salad. And here I just defrosted some cooked chickpeas that I made in my Instant Pot, took it out of the freezer, and I am just dumping that in my salad. As you're going to see, I left a little bit of chickpeas um, just so that I can whip up a dressing using it. And here I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper and that's pretty much it as far as the foundation of the salad goes. I say it all the time, having your starches prepped in advance allows you to put together some really tasty meals in like under five minutes. So here I'm just making the dressing. The recipe for this will be in my description box below, but as you can see, I'm just adding some chickpeas, an apple, as well as a little bit of Dijon mustard there, and um, that's just a pinch of garlic salt. And here is a flavored vinegar. I actually found this awesome store not too far from my house, Evolution. Um, they specialize in 
uh, different olive oils as well as different flavored vinegars. So there are a ton. It's actually a tasting bar. So you can go in there and taste test all the flavors. It's, I could literally spend like an hour in there. But anyways, this is an apple flavored vinegar that I'm using. So I just added some of that as well as a splash of water and just blended that all up together. So the beans give it a nice creamy texture. And of course the apple and the balsamic vinegar gives it a really, really nice flavor. So here I'm just going to drizzle some on top of the salad. Um, it's always nice to have a little bit of extra dressing left over because just like the starches, it's one of those things that it's just so much more convenient and nicer when your sauces or your dressings are already prepped in advance. Again, it just takes away from the amount of time that that overall meal takes to throw together. So here is the realistic version of what my salad looks like afterwards, which, you know, it's all going down the chute anyways. <laughs> so here I just wanted to show you, um, you know, how much dressing is left over from the amount that I made. I like to put it in little individual containers, especially for my dressings that are a little bit more high in calorie density. This is not one of them, but it's just nice to have them portioned out. And they're also very convenient to have, you know, like this so that they're just ready to go. If I'm in a rush and I just don't have time to do all of that, I am all about little hacks that save us time. So it is dinner time and I am dying to have this beautiful asparagus that I got from Costco. It is so fresh and so crispy. I'm just so excited to have this for dinner. So all I'm doing is breaking off the ends as most of you probably know to do with asparagus because the ends are quite fibrous and not very pleasant to chew into. So I'm just breaking off the ends, um, putting it in a small casserole dish and then just adding a little bit of water at the bottom kind of helps to steam them um, when they're cooking in the oven. Um, and then from there, I just kind of move them around to make sure that they all are a little bit on the wet side so that the garlic salt and other spices stick to it. So there I'm just using some garlic salt, adding some paprika, and I actually love putting lots and lots of oregano on this, but I ran out. I was right at the end of the container there. So yeah, normally there'd be a lot more oregano. So I just pop that in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes. So while the asparagus is cooking, I'm just going to water saute some onions here. So this is about half of a large onion. And yeah, I just water saute it on medium high heat for about, you know, six or seven minutes until, you know, you can see that they're starting to sweat out a little bit. And here I'm just using mixed vegetables that are frozen. I think this whole bag is like $2. It's super cheap at the superstore. So I'm just adding some of those in once my onions have cooked a little bit. So I make sure that those are all nice and cooked. And then at the very end, I'm throwing in some riced cauliflower. This is also frozen. I got this from Costco as well. But of course, frozen rice cauliflower is available pretty much anywhere now, as well as fresh. And you can also, of course, make your own. So here I'm just adding all of this in and going to pan fry the cauliflower. Um, as you'll notice, I did not add any extra water just because with the frozen cauliflower, there's already enough water that's going to come off of it once it starts cooking. So here is some leftover rice I already had in my fridge. I'm not really measuring this out. I'm just using, using a measuring cup to put it in the pan. Um, but it works out to be like an overflowing cup or so of um, rice that I'm adding to this mixture. So this is all about calorie density. As you can see, it is a rice dish that I'm having, but you'll see the portion that I'm able to have. This is what calorie density looks like. This is what volume eating looks like. You can get so much more bang for your buck without having to worry about the calories. So here I'm just adding a pretty large portion as I am pretty hungry. I'm trying to save a little leftover for my daughter there because she was quite excited about this meal as well. But I mean, look at that portion. It's a lot of the fried rice. Well, quote unquote fried water fried rice. So here I'm just adding my asparagus. I kind of cooked it too long. I kind of forgot that it was even in the oven if I'm being honest and realize afterwards. So I don't typically like my asparagus done that well, but oh well, still tasted good. And here I'm just adding some Frank's Red Hot Sauce to the cauliflower rice mix that I have. And oof, it was on point. This meal was so filling and so delicious. Okay, so it's about 8.30 at night and my husband just called me and asked if 
um, I wanted to hang out and do a date night with him, which all that means is a date in our living room, something that we've been doing since the pandemic when we actually couldn't leave the house. So we just kind of carry that on. Um, so anyways, what that also means is that usually he has a bunch of his snacks sitting in front of both of us and yeah that can be very very hard and no fun for me now i will say not to totally throw him under the bus he usually does try to do a good job at making sure there's something that you know that i'll want to eat but i'm going to make sure of that tonight by already prepping kind of like a little vegetable and fruit plate i just bought a lot of um fresh fruit and vegetables. So I know I've got some good stuff in there. So I'm probably just gonna put together a little plate, maybe with some kind of dip or something so that I will also have some kind of finger foods um, in front of me that I will feel good about eating. So when I have that plate ready and when I'm sitting down with my husband, then I will show you guys what that is. So this is just a little fruit and vegetable plate that I put together along with my buffalo sauce. Um, if you have not tried my buffalo sauce, it is something you definitely need to try. It is so good. So I will be using that for my cucumber slices and my carrot sticks and then just finish it off with something a little sweet with these delicious red grapes. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to check the links in the description box below for my recipes and my ebook. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like today and we will see you guys in the next one.